Eight candidates in the U.S. midterm election have ties to white nationalist and Nazi groups. That number is a record. Some are proud Nazis, and some just have loose connections to those parties. Arthur Jones, who's running on the Republican ticket in Illinois' 3rd Congressional District, is the former leader of the American Nazi Party and denies the Holocaust. I designed a, a huge ad, a full-page ad that appeared in the Milwaukee Journal newspaper. Full page, with a huge swastika right in the center of the thing. And the Jews had no idea, you know, that was coming. Okay, and imagine you're some rabbi who opened up the paper one morning and all of a sudden, bingo, here's a swastika looking you in the face. And Joe Arpaio, AKA America's toughest sheriff, who is running in Arizona as a Republican, is himself not a Nazi, but ran an outdoor jail that he called, quote, a concentration camp, where prisoners were subject to the heat and denied basic human rights. I already have a concentration camp. Andy, you gonna cover me on this too? <laughs> Called Tennessee. The U.S. midterm elections are a key battleground. Democrats hope to unseat Republicans and take back the majority in the two chambers of Congress. So they can slow or stop policy changes that President Trump and the Republican Party have been pushing through. White nationalists, neo-Nazis, and anti-Muslim groups have been on the rise in the era of Donald Trump. Between 2016 and 2017, neo-Nazi groups increased from 99 chapters to 121 and anti-black nationalist hate groups grew from 193 to 223. Hate groups, quote, vilify others based on their race, religion, ethnicity, sexual orientation, or gender identity. There have been 954 hate groups identified in the United States alone, a steep rise from an all-time low in 2014. On the flip side, though, more women and minorities have run and won positions in the government than ever before. So, is this pushback enough to stop the Republicans from maintaining the majority in Congress and adding new faces of white supremacists and neo-Nazis? <laughs>